Hey everyone, it's Simon here from Palant Digital. Today we're going to be talking about Google My Business. So what is Google My Business? Well, Google My Business is what someone will see when they search for your business on Google. It's a free Google Maps listing that contains all of your business information and it helps people find and navigate to your business. As Google themselves say, you can attract new customers with a free business profile on Google. So what does that look like? Well, when someone searches for what you do, or your business name or the sector you're in, they say this result at the top of the search results here. Now, if you haven't claimed your listing, then you need to go to google.com slash business and claim your listing. If you have claimed your listing, when you search for your own business, it looks slightly different. You get some insights here um, and you can also, you get some sort of the dashboard pullouts here, allowing you to edit it directly in the search results. The key here is that the uh, dashboard you go to has some really useful tools and they're adding to this all of the time. So what we wanted to do today was share with you some tips to make sure that you're getting the most out of this service because this really is the easiest and most cost effective way to get to the top of the search results. So if we go back here, for example, you'll see vegetarian restaurant Brighton. Well, what we can see here is Google Maps listing have claimed the top spot. It's above all the ads. There's notice there's no paid for ads at the top and it's above all of the organic listings. So for free, what you've done here is you've leapfrogged the top of the search results to jump in here to the top of the page. So what a user can do is they can then click on one of these um, restaurants, for example, and then they can see the full listing on maps. Now, if you're doing this on mobile, obviously it takes into account your current location and it gives you directions and it gives you estimated walking time to the restaurant if you're sort of fairly close by. Also gives you some photos, gives you some reviews, it tells you when it's busy, when it's not busy, what other people thought of it. Um, we've also got links to profiles and other restaurants that people searched for. So from a user's point of view, there's a lot of information here and it's a really popular way for people to find your business. So you need to make sure that in the info section of Google My Business, you've filled out all the information because the more information you can put in here, the more relevant your search results will be to a user and the more likely it is that Google will serve it up when someone searches for it. So you can also add in some photos. That's a great way of keeping your listing looking fresh and obviously new listings with updated um, information are more likely to come up when Google is providing the results. So don't put all your photos up at once. Try putting a new one up every couple of weeks. Another great thing to do to get your listing super up the top is to ask people to leave you a review. So just ask them to search for your business or send them a link to your business on Google and ask them to leave a review. Now, the other thing that's interesting is Google have added this element called ask a question. This has been there for a few years now, but it's becoming more and more uh, common for people to use it. And anybody can click ask a question and anybody alarmingly can answer that question. So how do you know if someone's asked you a question and how do you know if someone's left you a review? Well, Google My Business will email you, but a better way to do this is to use the free app. Now the free app is available on Android or iOS, depending on what you prefer. And that app allows you to manage the listing. It also gives you useful stats about um, how many people are using it. All these, all these insights and stats are available in the app. But most importantly, it gives you push notifications when someone leaves you a review or when someone asks you a question. So you can respond to those nice and quickly. The other thing you can do is you can add your blog posts to the latest post. Um, and this, again, makes your listing more up to date than your competitors, which is always good because a more up to date listing is always favoured over the top. Um, but the other nice bonus thing that the app does is it adds a message the business button to your profile so that customers can actually ask you a question or message you a question and it links through to the app. So we hope that's been really useful for you and we hope that you'll take a moment to check out your Google My Business listings. And if you do want help with getting found in search or getting the most out of your listing, do get in touch and we'd be happy to have a chat about it.